Okay, to, today I thought we would do uh, the Don Arts for Sh Shomenuchi. Shomenuchi is an unusual attack. I mean, Shomenuchi is a strike to the forehead, which makes a lot of sense with a weapon, such as a sword. When you use your bare hand, it seems a little odd, but think about it as we're practicing against that motion, which is a very effective motion if you have a lead pipe or a, I mean, a rock or a brick or anything to get smacked, you know, rather than your hand against the person's forehead. Now there are five of these. Uh, since Shomenuchi is on all the cue arts, then these are going to be a little more exotic, but there are still, I would say, um, three basic arts and two what we'll call secondary arts. Secondary arts are, you know, when the first art doesn't really. First one we do is Shomenuchi um, Kirikaish. And I'm going to have my right foot forward. He's about arm length away. And he has his left leg forward. So this, in general, we attack off the back leg. So if I were attacking him, that's his back leg. So I would come here and strike. He's going to come here and strike. And why, why attack this way? Well, I asked Sensei once, and he said, well, it's harder to get out of the way this way. It's harder footwork. So. So maybe that's a good enough reason. Obviously, if my feet are like this, or he's not going to look at my feet, so that's not that important. But when you traditionally practice, it's like this. So kirakesh means to a reversal cut, throw, strike. Now I come here, and there's the throw. Looks a lot like Tenshi without the tank. several without a pin. Now let's, let's uh, study it briefly. Two ways to move your feet. The way I prefer is just a sidestep. Why? Because my feet are already in position. I could have turned here, but then i got to turn my hips back. And then you tend to use too much hip. So again, I'm going to sidestep, have my defense up. As he's striking, I follow it. He's strong if I try to cut here. So I take it out of his range. Slides back conveniently. Now people want to go in this direction, but he's very strong this direction. You actually want to start to let it swing back forward, and that buckles his knee. So here he's strong, as soon as you do this. So there's a natural swing, and then you cut down, it swings back. One, two. If we hang on, we can do the usual flip. Each you got down there. On those nips. Uh, a couple of common mistakes. Sometimes people don't control this. Well, then this could come right back at you. Right? So you don't want to be real loose on that. You want to hear, and he's trying to get away. I have it. Okay. Now, I'm going to take it. It's like cocking it, and then my hand will do this reverse cock. And I just put my weight on it. And that's all you have to do. One, two. So now this next one is really a primary art. It's hijiotosh. So he comes. I'm going to be right over the elbow. Cut and down. One cut. We could go right into a pin. This side again. One. At this point, uh, matching hands, his left, my left, left over the left elbow. Then I'm going to just open it up slightly, cut down, turn, slide my hand to his wrist so now I can pin him. Cut. Oops. And like this, if it's stiff, make sure you bring it back down, let him scratch his back. Yes. This is hijigatame, come up. This is, I don't, there's not a lot of force being used, but there's a lot available if needed. Um, so the preferred fallout of this is just to go down on your knees versus, because a person could do this fast, if you're trying to take a forward roll, you might not clear the forward roll. 
So here, down, notice I may turn a little if I want to pin. That allows me to slide my hand to the wrist. This is just extra. If he has a stiff arm, don't try to bust it. Scratch the lower back. A slightly different variety is the Hichi of Otosh Zamponage. But that's not what we're doing. Right? We're going to control the situation. So, Hichi Otosh and Shomenuchi. So, a few, a few things that people do strike. We often want to go down like this or down right here. And all those downs won't work because he's pretty darn strong here. But he's weak right here. So you want to get 90 degrees to him and then you just open up just slightly and put him down. Just out of his range of effectiveness. So it's kind of precise. Now, Kobayashi Sensei developed this around 1980 when we were suddenly doing everything at the elbow. And we, he connected it to the poem, which ends, Hitoashi Yokete, Suguni Karadash. So he thought, that's perfect. One, one cut movement, one, you know, step aside and cut. Hitoashi Yokete, Suguni Karadash. Step aside and cut. In fact, I asked him, you know, you know, where'd you get the idea for that technique? He says, well, it's almost not a technique. It's just a cut. It's almost, you know, you could add more to it. By the way, we have two other uh, two other hijiotoshis. On the same weak side, you could have the opposite hand at the elbow, either under or over. And then when we put it back in a circular fashion, that's enkei hijiotosh, circular elbow. Or if he strikes on this side, it could be on the, the cold side, I mean the hot side. And that would be, I could have either this hand or that hand on top. And that's literally hantai uh, hijiotosha, opposite elbow, you're on the opposite side. We usually just call it hijiotosha. Okay, the next two are secondary arts. And secondary art is when the first, the primary art doesn't work. In this case, the primary art is Ikkyo. Yurimi, Ikkyo, Yurimi. And it didn't work. Why did I say it didn't work? Well, it's not that disturbed. So I'm going to slide back and go into Nikkyo. This side. One, two, three. So, uh, one. Slide back, two, here, and okay. So, so what are we doing? I mean, if I do a good EQO, I don't need to do the rest of this. So I'm trying to do a less good EQO, <laughs> right here. Then I'm sliding up, I'm switching my hand from on top to here. Now his arm may be straight, the purpose of this hand is not to come down, but to bend the elbow. I could also have it come in like this, or it doesn't really matter if it's on top or on bottom, as long as it's bending. That's the Nikyo. And then here's our usual hand. One. Slide your hand this way. Step back, switch feet. Get the elbow bending. Okay? This is not come on back up. This is not trying to injure him. We're not putting tremendous pressure here. We're not, what we're doing is, I can even do it from here. As soon as I bend it, he's happy to go down. So on this side. Here. Now I'll point forward and down, walk it out, have two hands on it, scratch his lower back. Just Now right now, I can ease up quite a bit. And he's comfortable, right? until he tries to get up. <laughs> so, remember, the point of our pin is not, it's not a submission pin where you say, okay, I'm tapping out because you're gonna break something. It's a pin that you can't escape from as you try to escape and you say, okay, I'm done. All right? So this is, uh, <laughs> all right, so that's kind of complex, right? Um, just to go through it one more time. 
you're here, you're sliding, now you slide this foot back, switch your feet, and of course you're trying to get this to bend. If you have any pushing down, you'd be really strong, so sometimes we might even do it this way. But from on top, it's you're rubbing underneath. That's what makes us then to control use of fingers. Perhaps a more modern way to do this would be to just come here. So, you know, we can think about the modern version versus this kind of uh, more traditional. The next secondary art is shihonage. So I go to do uh, ikkyo, but I think better of it, switch. here again. Yes. Then I switch my hand from at the elbow here. Come down. Turn. Turn. Up. One, two, three, four. Excuse me. This one. One, two, spin. Down. just go, again, it's like, oh, maybe he went through his key. So I'm just going to come here. And when you do this, do not step in here. There's there's this. So you want to bring it here. Spin. This is your protection. Of course, it would be quicker just to go right there. So that would be another kind of more modern approach. But since they call this a secondary art, so we're one, two, it makes it a secondary art. One, two. Okay? So, uh, so um, lots of things to get in trouble with on Shionage. You know, um, a lot of people go this way and you thank you, great art. Once you're here, this is the down hand, and then people leave it too much on the wrist. Well, he can stop me all day here. I can't do anything. But if you lightly on the, the knuckles, he can be as strong as he wants. I'm going to be as light as possible. Now, on the turnover, don't keep hanging on with both hands. Once you go down, this, this hand will switch to catch the base of the thumb, spin, and then reapply. Now this next one is a lot simpler. I'm going to come here. Rio Kata Hikyo's coach. So this is a great way to practice your choyaku. First movement is here. Then I do a choyaku movement. So my first movement is just here. Now, here's my choyaku, right? And as I do this, I keep pressure on this and kind of twist him in. Don't try to slam him back. Yeah, you could do a big slammy waza. But he can also resist it, which I would too if I was about to be concussed. <laughs> you know? So, keep One, two. There is no pin from this one, so we don't have to worry about it. I, so it's one, so one. You can even get in the air like that. Momentarily, I was six foot four. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> All right, so that's uh, Ushiro Kata Kikiotoshi. Ushiro from behind, Kata shoulder. Kiki pull, but it's really more of a twist. Otosh drop from Shomenuchi. So, um, Shomenuchi, we just did five arts. Notice you, we do five other arts, which are the Q arts. The Q arts are Kokunage, Kote Gaish, Ikyo Yurimi, Ikyo Tenkan. So 
have those five as well to work with. Um, and again, we often work with the knife, with the sword, with the jaw, the striking down motion is a powerful motion. So make sure that you understand that.